pretty remarkable Walks given out. how little of the seafloor we've seen. It must have mean they were pretty abundant in this region, but you can see it's coated with the iron manganese crust, so it's been there quite a long time. Do you want to go after the other pieces? Yeah, I think so. Ooh, I'd wow. like to yeah, get that at least that little upper piece or the piece on the upper shelf. I just want to tray in because that sponge decides to go for a swim. Oh, good idea. See, TJ's mom. TJ's <laughs> always thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Does your mom have a name? Uh, Nora. Nora. Nora, Nora. Scanlon. Nora. Oh, hi, Mrs. Nora. This is the... That's great. Looks like there might be another little piece right there now. Underneath it. Hard to tell. I do have the grip force way down, so likely not going to smash it. More of a grip pinch. Yeah. Oh, that'll be easier. <laughs> Don't worry, chat. Our team is working hard to make sure that we get the samples. Work in progress. Yup. Zoom in. Oh, so it's good. Oh, shoot. Time to wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's having for my, the best it's for dream my highlight about videos. <laughs> being on the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> I was timing the highlight videos. Did Nice. Ooh, let's go. Awesome job. Was there another piece or did we I I, I didn't we see it. I I didn't see any more, no. but yeah, we'll take a look. Wow, it's crazy That's how many of these we've seen here. Right. We must be a dime a dozen, huh? That is amazing. That's a just rock, right? I think that is, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's all we, yeah, right? Yeah. We got it all. Okay. What's boogie? Wow. So how long does it take for a whale carcass to fully decompose? Uh, well, I guess the the cool thing in the deep sea is that it gets lots of help in its oh, okay. decomposition. There's lots of organisms that will benefit from the 
food source. Right. And not even just like the meat, but there's uh, worms that are specialized to kind of burrow into the bones of the whale. Um, th there's definitely an answer to that. I don't know what it is, but I know that that uh, Mbari uh, like dragged a whale out into the into deeper water and let it oh. fall down and then oh. revisited it every uh, six months or something like that to to watch the decomposition. Yeah, it's well, that's cool. It's, it can be months to years depending on Ooh. what animals show up to scavenge. Right. Um, but yeah, as Adam mentioned, it's like you know large. Uh, it could be sharks, it could be hagfish that mm -hmm. tear through flesh, and then bone worms that go for the bones. But yeah, Nautilus has seen a few whale falls over the years. Uh, we also revisited one over two years in Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary, actually near Davidson Seamount. Unbelievable. Um, and it's, it's kind of amazing to see how quickly it decomposed oh, yeah. after a year. Can we zoom on this, please? I like the color of that. Something on the stock as well. Hmm. What is that? <laughs> yeah, what is that? Huh. Anemone on the stock? Maybe. I feel like I almost never see associates on C pens. That is that it? Almost it? looks like. What? I'm confused by what uh. I'm seeing. Because <laughs> also, don't they generally just have like a straight stalk? Why does this thing have a yeah. little spur on it? I don't know. Is that full zoom? Yes, it is. Okay. Wild. Huh. I really don't know what's happening here. It's almost like it's broken at that point, too. Yeah. See how bent it is? Oh. Oh. oh that's painful. Oh, it, uh, it looks painful. I don't move in that direction. Uh, oh. Is it a little, what? yeah, is it a little anemone? Is it, what? it looks like <laughs> a little anemone. Uh, oh, I'm stumped. Swimmer, swimmer. Oh, if it goes full circle, we might be able to see yeah, the other come side. On. Yeah, come on, swing around, swing around. Oh, maybe Umbalula is evolving to have knees. <laughs> they have developed kneecaps. <laughs> oh, almost, almost there. I was about to swing back the other oh, way. Oh, no. No. Oh. Or bunny. Very interesting. It does look like an anemone that's sucked in, huh? Also kind of looks like a cup coral, but that can't be right. I feel like usually with, uh, I don't know, it's so hard to say. Like with anemones, we've seen sort of like an outer piece like wrapped around the stalk, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. But what's all this? The hairiness on that? there? Yeah. yeah. Like it like looks a, like who uh, is turning? Is this a parasite? <sighs> yeah. Yeah, like little worm. What is this? <laughs> huh. So close to turning all the way. Want to try and get a better view? Yeah, if we could, that would be awesome. Thank you.
fun all the way around. Uh, <laughs> I kind of feel like maybe we have to bail on this. So I think we might have to bail on it. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, though. Yep. It's really weird. <laughs> Got some good shots. Awesome. Okay, are ready for a move? Yep. Yeah. Moving. Bridge, nav. Three zero meter is one one five. Looks like some Chrysogorgia. Yeah, it's been the dominant species for yeah. sure. Yeah. That's cool. Chiniculata. Alright. Got it. Thank you. So have we been able to, I, oh. Slime star. What? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Patrick. Arms? Patrick. Wait, what's that Can we look thing? At it? Is it, what's coming out from uh, underneath? Right, there? is it? Zoom in, Dave. Hmm. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's like a Wait, coral. oh, it's <gasps> on what? coral. Oh, yeah, That's look predation at that. happening. Whoa. And I thought it was like a four-pronged yeah. one, but it's the two of them are stuck together yeah. at the bottom. That's wild. There's been as much interesting stuff on unhappy corals as happy corals. Too. Yeah, oh, so it's actually feeding on it. Yeah. Wow. Looks like it. But. It, where was it attached or right. did it fall it off somewhere else? It is just like stripped it clean. Nom, 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 nom. Maybe it was a sea pen? Oh, oh, you know what? That's what it looks like. Uh, I think it was. I think it was. Um, oh, that was a loud click. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the one we saw at the beginning of the dive? Yeah. What starts with a P? Um, yeah, protoptilum. Protoptilum. I think that's what that is. All right, I think we're cool here. These are so, they're so gelatinous. They're so weird. It looks like jello. Yeah. Yeah, they really do. Whoa, is that crinoid? Broken? Was it beheaded? <laughs> no. Dave. The head what is going on on this seamount? There's a lot of weird things happening. Oh, is that? <laughs> Yeah. Is that the oh, wait. stalk that it's eating? Oh. It does look Could like it. Could it be? <laughs> Do we need to report a crime? Oh, <laughs> this is odd. Do you think maybe it climbed up the coral and then it got so heavy that it snapped? And then the head And it came continued off? feeding? I don't understand. No, no, this could be... Mm, no, that wouldn't make sense. And how did the stalk crinoid end up upright again. Do you think it could turn well, itself I was over? I thought you were talking about um, like the head part. The no, but what if that's a piece right. of the like coral right. that we saw the slime star on? Yes, yeah. I agree with that. Yeah, you agree yeah, with yeah. that? Okay. okay. Yeah, Two separate and I think the crinoid is unrelated. <laughs> but oh. aren't these stalked crinoids though normally? Yeah. Um, the red ones we've seen have yeah. all been stalked. Versus are all of them the stalked? We're looking just down at it. Mm. Oh, but there might be little legs on there. 
Yeah, I, I'm not so sure that it belongs to that stock. Yeah, no, I think okay. you're right. What? All right, cool. It does look like it has a little Siri down Trying there. Trying to piece together a story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drama. To, how do we get make a I tape like to outline play investigator. on the <laughs> Call CSI. <laughs> I'm going to be recruited by the wow, FBI. CSI. CSI. Yeah, wow. Uh, I love uh, that show. Oh, that's a good... The, it's a really good show. The still photo has the whole scene of the crime. Oh, yeah, so we can review. <laughs> it's got all the crinoid bits and the stock and the star. <laughs> Look how far it is, though. Let's review. The slime star is covering its tracks. Okay. Wait, look, look at this. Look at this. Yeah, but it's falling downhill, so that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, no, and see how this is lighter? Yeah. Because, because it's underneath, right? That's no, like the sand I underneath the so. surface sand. I don't think I think that's just biotropation. So? Mm -hmm. oh. there's, the, there's the base of the crater. Well, actually, it looks like it's got a, some of that stock underneath it. Okay, wait. There it is. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay, wait, but look at this. Oh, uh, see how this is white at the end? Yeah, and that's white at the end. There's there. something yeah. weird about that crinoid, too. Yeah, the yeah there's something weird is it going on there. a new <laughs> stock or something? It yeah, kind of looks, looks like, like it. it. There's... Huh. Whoa. Didn't know that was possible. There's, some, there's something going on down here. Either way, the crinoid is the key witness. Like <laughs> <laughs> we ought to take him in. The only living witness. <laughs> take him in for questioning. We're going to need some more handcuffs. Crinoid <laughs> <laughs> snip and slurp ready. It's going in the box. Oh my gosh. Crinoids are related to sea stars, right? They are able to regenerate some parts, mm -hmm. maybe. Yeah, but but that that part that's surprising. The that's arms, true. I could believe. I'm not. But as long as they have the base, like that's the center yeah. base that they need to regenerate. So oh, yeah. I think anything outside is this of that a is sampling possible. Event? No, I don't think no. so. It's no. It's just are a, we done? Are we're done. done. It's just a little bit of drama. Oh, okay. <laughs> we're just enjoying the show. Whew. There's some freaky stuff going on down here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I feel like today's been a little extra weird. We're getting near to Palmyra. It's a question from chat. Has the Nautilus team had any meteorite finds during their previous dives? Hmm. Not on this dive, certainly, but uh, this cruise. Yeah, yeah, we did a, a collaboration a few years ago, I think 2018, with uh, NASA off of the Pacific Northwest. Um, there was a meteorite that was tracked on radar and had a lot of eyewitness reports. Um, we were able to find the area that we thought Meteor had crashed at. Um, on the seafloor, it was really hard to see, very muddy, very sludgy. Um, but we collected some fragments, fragments that were promising. Um, and those are, that have been have been processed. And um, actually the Falcor went back to the same site oh, okay. uh, a couple years later and also grabbed some fragments. So I don't think that, that uh, the official findings have been published yet, but there were definitely some promising fragments um, that we collected. Okay, thank you. Sea pig. Yeah. Mm. Is that the same time we did the Monterey, the, the dirigible aircraft carrier thing? Uh, aircraft carrier, the USS Macon was uh, 2015. Really? Yeah, that was before my time. But, um, yeah, the USS Macon was a airship, a 1930s yeah. era airship that went down off of uh, Point Sur Naval Station, or, well, Naval Station came in the 70s, the Point Sur Lighthouse um, has been there since the 18, uh, mid-1800s um, off, the, off the Big Sur coast, so there's actually now 
towards the lighthouse and you can kind of see the area that Megan crashed and they have in, in the museum um, some of the photos from uh, the first Imbari survey actually to the Megan and then um, trying to get some Nautilus video in there as well. Um, and the museum will also have one of Mimbari's ROVs on exhibit. Uh, I think the Tiburon. That was the ROV that mm -hmm. surveyed that uh, wreck. No. That was a pretty cool wreck. Yeah? You were there for that one? Oh wait, yeah. sorry, where did you see it? Okay. You said that was 2015? Yeah, that was 2015. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was the first year the Nautilus was in the Pacific, uh, across oh. the Panama Canal, and was in the Pacific in 2015. Kara said they branched. It's crazy how 2013 was a decade ago, but it feels <laughs> yeah. like I remember mm -hmm. stuff from them, like, yeah, it's bananas. Oh, something Ooh. cool coming up. Oh. Yeah. Metallogorgia. Metallogorgia. And Umbalula. Umbalula without a knee there? joint. Yeah. Unjointed. See, it's not hairy at that. Oh. Yeah. Up. I love metallic orchid. They're so beautiful. They're like, I don't know, like cherry blossom. Yeah. That's what it reminds me of. They look like straight out of a Japanese painting. Yeah, right? yeah that's right. Very detailed. I think that's going to so be delicate. a new description to jointed versus unjointed. <laughs> it's going to be a new thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm really curious about what that was. Yeah. It was very odd. So strange. All right, zoom out, Dave. <sighs> Looks like we got a pretty serious slope ahead of us. Mm. Oh, that urchin was also wild. This yeah, there's, yeah. Been a, there's been a lot of cool stuff on this watch. Ooh, that's a can we zoom on that? That it's looks different. Like Hemi corallium, maybe. I think it looks more like Paragorgia. Yeah, pretty knobbly. Paragorgia well, with philanthids. Oh, yeah. But look, it's not super knobbly. It looks too flexible to me to be hemi. Like, see how it's kind of swaying a little bit? Hemicorallium is much more like stiff, like it won't move at all. Yeah, all right, I'm with you. Looks like stickopathies over there too. Okay, good, thank you.
And this is another interesting question. Um, mm -hmm. Like a whale fall, um, could you find sea turtle shells on the bottom covered in manganese crust? Have we? Has Nautilus ever found? That's an interesting question. Um, yeah, I don't think we've found any turtle shells, but that is an interesting question. Mm. I don't even, I, I guess I've never even heard of a turtle shell on the seafloor. Right. Is that just some goo? <laughs> Once you see one whale bone, everything becomes a whale bone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, all, we know that they're black, so <laughs> just look for black things. Perfect. Ready for a move? Yep. Yep. This Bridge now. Pretty low density through here. Huh? Hmm. Three zero meters, is one one five. Low density, high freakiness level. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. true. <laughs> A metallic gorge right in front of us. The odds are good, but yeah. the goods are odd. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just make that up, or is that something? No, that's, that's a known phrase. A chat says we just passed over an angler fish. What? Did we? Where? I don't know. That's Where, chat? chat? Yeah, come on, chat. Right, we need receipts, chat. Yeah. <laughs> Can drop a pin? Send, send us the coordinates. What color? That'll yeah, help. what color description, please? Are we talking like a chana cup, right? Like frogfish, actual anglerfish, Atlanta cam, hurt cam. Y'all can rewind better than we can. <laughs> <laughs> That's Except CK. Dave. Dave can rewind. <laughs> nope. Nope. Can't. Dave can't. Okay, Dave can't rewind. Okay. I resend. Nope. I retract my statement. Oh, you know, maybe there is more here that we're just kind of like a little too far away. There's to one see. of those Hawthorians again. Oh, the stickopathies, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, no, there's a ton of stickopathies in here that are just really light in color. Oh. Uh, Zoanthid covered black coral stalk with a mm -hmm. crinoid. Some hydroids at the bottom, maybe. Samantha, what's our range to the top of this thing? We are 320 meters off. Oof. Yeah. Don't know that we'll make it. My next watch, I might be. Mm. Samantha, you mentioned that our rate for this watch is 200. <laughs> Yes, hour? Dwight was saying that the other watches have been averaging about 250 meters an hour. <laughs> yeah. They've been going a little faster. Think of what they're missing. Exactly. That's true. Right. We go for quality. 
over <laughs> distance. Over distance. <laughs> over distance. Hmm. What's this? Yeah, shockingly, we have an hour, hour and fifteen left. Oh, actually, oh, sorry. Oh, really? Can we zoom oh, on this wow. instead? Top left. Sponge. Yeah, sponge. Interesting sponge. There's another holotherian on the right. Or a tunicate. Something. Stick thing Could bottom right. Could it be Hyalanema? No. Oh, it's a predatory tunicate on the right. Bol Bolosoma? Bolosoma, yeah. Yeah, it's Bolosoma. And then we do have our students tuning in from Dubai. Um, they're sending in questions. So um, first off, I think they want to know what's the, well, what, um, how is ship life? What's it like? Do we get breaks? Do we not get breaks? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we have a, a watch schedule that right. is four hours on, eight hours off. So you are working for four hours and you get an eight hour break, you work for another four, you get another eight hour break. So one of those eight hour breaks, you're usually sleeping. Right. And the other one, you're kind of helping out others or socializing right. or taking a rest or emailing folks at home. And doing laundry. Doing laundry. Doing laundry. laundry. <laughs> doing a ship to shore interactions doing yeah. as well. Interactions. Play and a lot of cards. Yeah, it's very, f it's puzzles. Uh, puzzles. <laughs> Boy, do we do puzzles? It's pretty fun. The, the weather out here is nice. Uh, the ship oh. is very comfortable. Food's good. Company is about, pretty good. I'm Company's thinking about taking great. a shower. Company is uh, mid. I haven't done that yet on this cruise. So. <laughs> <Take a shower. laughs> Some of the company is good. <laughs> <laughs> Watch sunsets, sunrises. Oh, yeah, the sunsets and sunrises yeah. are beautiful. And then we're out here um, for about 29 days, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We're going on our two <laughs> weeks now. <laughs> we're going on our something day. Yeah. 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 Uh, two weeks. What's today? The other thing is that, like, everyone on the ship has a job. But, right. But there's everyone is also really open to showing you what they do and training yeah. you up on their job. Um, That's been a really great experience. Yeah. Yep. There's also a lot of planning, you know, like uh, where are we going to go for the next dive? How it's are we going to get thing. there? I think dead sponge. Oh, the one next to the whip. Yeah, yeah. I think sponge stock. Okay, we saw one earlier too. Mm. Yeah. Never mind. Uh, let's see, what other fun things do we do? Anthemastis. Stickopathies, Anthemastis, Cena 504. Lots of time spent processing the samples. Right. Everyone who wants to gets a chance to cut a rock open. Mm. That was That's really true. cool. That was fun. That was a lot of fun. Yes. Earlier today, Mike had a, a knot tying workshop. That's right. What was the most difficult knot? I actually slept through that. I so. slept through, too. It's <laughs> another um, Balasama. I can't, every time I see it, I forget the name. I keep <laughs> wanting to say Bolsonaro, which is like <laughs> some... Bolognese. Uh, some, uh, some guy. <laughs> some guy. Bolasama. Hey. Hey, <coughs> Aside from the whale fossil bone, I think the rocks are one of the most exciting things to sample because you never know what you're gonna get, yeah. and that was really That's exciting. True, true. Yeah, like even when I see it, I don't know what it is. I we have to wait for Adam <laughs> to explain <laughs> what we're seeing. But that's really well, there's cool. been a lot of variety. I mean, they're not they're each one's a little different inside.
And then, okay. Um, Adam, this is um, your forte. Um, can you explain what we are looking at in terms of like the geological features and the rock right. composition, please? Yeah, so we are going up the side of a flat top seamount. So the volcano is probably like, I don't know, 10 kilometers across and it rises up from probably 5,000 meters to 1,500 meters, so four kilometers high or somewhere around there. And we're going up one of the rift zones of this volcano. The volcano is extinct. It wasn't, hasn't been active for tens of millions of years. And so we don't actually see any of the original rock because it's all been coated with iron manganese crust. And one of the things it does, it kind of softens the edges of everything. You don't right. see too many straight lines here. It's a, it's a kind of round, everything's rounded because the crust grows by precipitating onto the rock layer by layer, very slowly. And, uh, and so we're on a steep slope. So it's probably a slope that uh, has kind of fallen apart over time. Lots of rocks tumbling down and the crust growing on them. How's that? Can we Great. zoom in, Dave? Thank you so much. Looks like we have some bamboo whips, or Very maybe nice. a bamboo and a stick of these, actually. Oh, squat lobster on it. This is a bamboo. Yeah, there's a... Yeah. Some Christic orchids in the background, of course. What's that? Um, I think that might be an ophiroid arm. Or is that a sea pen? Oh, look how pink it is. That's cool. And color coordinated with its associate. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they planned this? Oh, there's a yellow ophiroid back there. Hmm. Or maybe that was a crinoid. I think it was an ophirid. Okay, and then along that line, um, Zoom in so in. we have a question. Um, after this, you gonna identify? What was that? No, I just don't wanna um, cause too much traffic on SBL. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, this is another unbranched bamboo with two squat, squat lobsters. Two friends. <laughs> two friends. Used with this big Kerato Isi there? Yeah, Kerato Isi unbranched. How many different ways have you spelled Karatulisa in that day? <laughs> <laughs> so many. I, <laughs> I realize, uh, yes, one of the main challenges has been that one of my previous internships, most of them with deep sea stuff have been virtual, so I just created my own pronunciation in Spanish uh -huh. for oh, a lot of the corals. Okay, so that's cool. <laughs> when I hear them like in English pronunciation, <laughs> it's so different. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I, I like learning. So thank you for <laughs> It'd be great that. to learn the, spin it, the, <laughs> the Spanish pronunciations, too. Demende. <laughs> I guess. How would you say it with the Spanish pronunciation? Querato y si dinai. But I know I strongly prefer it in English. It's just easier okay. for me, but <laughs> yeah. English is better for this type of stuff. Yeah, that's neat to know, though. Got a bunch of Chrysid Gorgids and some squat lobsters. Is that a Chrysid Gorgid as well, this one down here? I think it is. Can Still you zoom on that one down there? Oh. Yeah. Oh, the yellow? That looks like Plex. Uh, yeah, can we zoom on that too? I think that's what? A can you cir circle what you want? Yeah, uh, yeah. down there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that was a lot of pokes to get to it. <laughs> there. Yeah, 
yeah, that one up there is Chrysogorgin. That's a Chrysogorgia. I kind of got a Zoanthid vibe from this one. Oh, you mm -hmm. think? Yeah. Maybe oh, there's sea urchin in the right, too? Below Maybe the rock? Uh, it looks or like sea two anemone? anemones. Ooh. Hmm. I think those are zoanthids on there. Yeah. It almost looks like the skeleton underneath is like completely dead. Yeah. I don't even know what that used to be. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, cool. So um, one of the questions from chat, so how is it along the lines of the seamount, how was it identified as a volcano and like what was the process? Yeah, so it is within a whole string of volcanoes in this part of the ocean called the Line Islands. Oh. And it stretches for hundreds of miles and there are many, many volcanoes in it. And it's a little bit enigmatic because oftentimes a long line of volcanoes can be traced back to a, a hot spot or a mantle plume like right. the Hawaiian Emperor chain can be traced back to the Big Island of Hawaii and, and Kilauea Volcano. Um, but here it, it's a bit ambiguous as to which hotspot uh, produced these volcanoes. There's kind of three candidates. None of them align perfectly with the, with the chain of volcanoes. And, and the notion is that there are multiple hotspots contributing to the the chain of volcanoes um, but you know for they've been known for a long time as a uh, you know big bumps on the seafloor made right. up of volcanic rocks and and so that's kind of where the interpretation comes from thank you We have our um, students from the, in the sixth, sixth grade from Norway. Oh, nice. Shout out to Norway. Yeah, so Thanks for Norway. tuning in. Keep on moving. Keep on moving. Bridge now. Stick a path these. Three zero meters, one one five. <laughs> and for everyone who's just tuned in, we are currently exploring a seamount um, 220 nautical miles north northwest of Palmyra. Um, expected dive duration about 16 hours and at a depth of 1986 meters. You can also check out on nautiluslive.org. Our team um, uploaded highlights from our previous dives. We will be posting more highlights, more amazing highlights in the days and in the week to come. So please stay tuned. Can we get a zoom on that one? Flying without a net here, Juliana stepped out. <laughs> Black coral. Oh, I haven't seen this one in a while. Kind of looks like Pathy Pathies, but uh, yeah, we go with that for now. 
except it's too needs more branches i think yeah Perfect. Just in time, Jules. Just in time, Jules. Well, we got a black coral that we, <laughs> we need help with. I'm looking at the guides, but I think Jules. Parentopathies. Parentopathies. <laughs> I'm like out of breath from climbing the stairs. <laughs> Let me just double check that. Teresa Patties, maybe? Trisopathies? Could it be a Trisopathies? Uh, just give me one sec. Definitely look like Parentopathies. Yeah, we have seen a bunch of those, so that would make sense. There's a close-up pilot photo on the uh, NOAA guide, or oh, the Oganos okay. guide, that's pretty. Mm. Yeah, that looks right. If you look at the right. nav yeah. screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's, um, that's branch pathies. Okay. Awesome. Loaded, thank you. Mm -hmm. Wait, is this the same one? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow, twice. It's another one. <laughs> Perfect. Can't All get right. anything past me. Okay. Got it? Got it. Microphone without beauty. What? <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> happening in the back row. <laughs> Nothing at all. Roger. That's exactly what someone would say if there was something. <laughs> <laughs> the back row. Oh, There's definitely not no. snacks around. Snacks? And they definitely wouldn't be gummy worms. <gasps> Let's go. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that one. Good eye. Uh, no, thank you. Huh. It's like a Cheeto. Sour Cheeto. There's been a lot of talk about um, hot cheetahs. You get one gummy worm for every sample you collect. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's a good reward. Chris Agorja. Yep. To Nicolata. <laughs> It's a little different. Hmm. Could be a primnoid. Is that a mini fly Venus trap? fly trap, yeah. And what is this white fuzzy bit? Oh, that is. Ooh. is it? Oh, wow. Is that a That's sp really interesting. A sponge growing on a coral? Hmm. Uh, 
That's is that full zoom? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I don't think it's a sponge. Either. Maybe some sort of egg sac? Yeah, it does look like it. We have chat tuning in about the food that we're eating now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, last year's expedition talked about big packets of Nutella in the cafeteria. <laughs> Do you guys get no, those on this trip? No, there's none. <laughs> nope. Daddy said. Sorry, nah, nah, chat. The big Not jars of peanut one. butter. There's no. yes, there's big Massive. jars of peanut butter. That though. would actually go really nicely with a tube of Nutella. Can you we do this, Nutella? please? I think that might be Victor Gorgia. Ooh, and something next to it that might be a chrysogorget. Wow, look how light purple that is. Yeah. I feel like they're usually more vibrant. It's like a nice lavender. Right. Pretty, pretty. And then there's a coral directly to its left that I'd like to look at. There's a coral left of it? Uh-huh. It's see it really the, thin. We see it in the Oh, I see it in the still cam. cam. There it is. Yep. Okay. Oh, that's the bamboo, I think. Yeah, can we get a zoom? Interesting. I don't know if it's bamboo, actually. I'm not seeing any banding. Can we pan down just a hair on that? <laughs> I love how close I get to the screen. <laughs> Try to see these things. Uh, I don't see any I don't banding. think it's a bamboo. I think it could be a primnoid. Um, should we stop by the way? This. Okay, thank you. It's not like delicate enough to be a chrysogorget. <clears throat> yeah, because I feel like the polyp color is also different. Not that that's maybe you know, call it an unbranched an primnoid and move out. Yeah, yeah, I'm good with that. Noted. Thank you. I think you can start moving the ship again, Samantha, if you want. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a minute or two to let her get in front of Argus again. We're going up slope. Mm. We've gone about 420 meters, by the way, since our watch started, so we are <laughs> pretty accurately at. <laughs> <laughs> Question what mark next that? to the primnoid. Fish. <laughs> Noted. I'm not sure about the polyps. They do look more bamboo-like, I think. Bridge nab. There's another bamboo? one. Might be the same. Oh, cool. Three no, zero meters, one one five. Someone in the chat said it's a primnoid. Oh, what's that? Ooh, look at right. that. What's Ooh. that? Oh, a, a very 
And there's a spiky, uh, <laughs> very spiky umbellopathies. Yeah. And another umbellopathies. I think that that one is a bamboo. Uh. There look at it. looks like there's also a cool sponge. Clear, but uh, yeah. Can we look at it, please? Zoom in there. And then I can see in the still cam there's a sponge behind it that looks really cool. Uh, behind it is, I think it's actually upslope a little bit. Yeah. Sorry. Just remember now the still cam is kind of pointed. Uh, oh, sorry. I meant zoom on the the holothurian. Oh. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> That's very uncharacteristic. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Well, I could I could see the banding from there. I don't know. It's just spiky. It makes it up. Cool looking. <laughs> also, there's a sponge right there that I want right. to look at. Oh. Ooh, is it? It's different from what we've seen earlier. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Oh wow. This one looks like a spiky cucumber. Awesome. Could we now look at the, the sponge upslope? I think it might be a polyopagon. That's as far right as I can go. You have to okay. relocate. It's an interesting looking one. Yeah, it looks like a tuning fork or something. Yeah, right? Does that work? Yeah, this is good. Thank you. I want to say polyopagon based on how many we've seen. Okay. And it's general polyopagon lookingness. Looks like there's a Faraday over there too. Uh, Ooh, Eridogorgia. Uh, this one? Oh, sorry, that's Bathypathies. Bathypathies. <laughs> we also passed an Eridogorgia. And that is a Chrysogorgia right there. Ooh. Um, I'm not sure if that's, no, I think that's Umbellopathies. Oh, I missed it. Mm. It is pretty large. Uh, oh, yeah. Telepathies. That's umbellopathies, yeah? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's umbellopathies. Right. It's a really tall one. I feel like they're usually much lower to the ground. Very tiny chrysogorgid.
Okay, this move is ending soon. Do we want to keep moving? Yeah, keep moving. Moving. Bridge, nav. We can add three zero meters to one one five. I think that one's a perm noid. Some that looks like a band. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's a bamboo. Okay, noted. Stick of pappies. Church shrimp. Shrimp is just along for the ride. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of very like wispy stick of pappy's whips. Yeah. I think we probably passed dozens that we haven't even seen. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that looks like the masters. very red. A different different sized pose. Huh. Yeah. What what is happening over here? What what is going on? <laughs> Where? Everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> We've seen so many weird things. Such an unbalanced antimastis. What has been the most um, surprising like life form you guys have ever found is such a um, depth at such depth? Anything that surprised you guys? Oh. Hmm. God, that looks like a feather. Yeah, it kind of does. does. Actually, let's see. Ooh. Cool. That's a pretty weird life form. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think it might be lily pathies, possibly. And right there, <laughs> yeah. Mm. And then that. That's, I don't think it's brand to pet. I'm sorry for the noises. I would like to call it parentopathies. Okay. Okay. We're good. Uh, Annie, to your question, the Xenophyophores are pretty incredible to me. They're oh. foraminiferans that are unicellular but form these really elaborate structures right that are then covered with or that are formed with whatever sediment is on the seafloor or marine snow and we've been seeing so many different shapes of them that every time it, it's like i don't know a surprise to me that Slime an stuff. organism can exist like that xenophyophores xenophyophores yeah we've seen them kind of like Ooh, honeycomb clusters that? right seas, right uh, some look like sponges sea spider or something <gasps> Is this a picnic on it? I really hope it is. This would be the follow up to. Hey, can we zoom in? Look, they're hanging out. <laughs> the oddest uh, 
organism. Ooh. Yes. Yes. What? Pick no gun it. <laughs> sea spider. Look, I was just what? standing over the entire rock. Annie, this is the answer to your question. Okay, yeah. <laughs> right. Whoa. What the heck? Sea spider. Mm hmm. Yeah. That's impressive. This is my first time seeing. Let's take a picture of this. Sea spider. Picture. How. <laughs> I'm very impressed with so some of them prey on oh anemones gosh. and they'll stick their pinchers into the anemone and basically suck out its innards. Oh, oh. What? Really? Yeah. That's pretty uh pom they prey on pom pom anemones, which are another great species. I don't I don't know about these in particular, but we've seen others in different regions in the Pacific. Hey. Oh my gosh. That is scary. Yeah, I already, you know what I mean? Like, I already have, to, like, trouble dealing with land spiders, like, not <laughs> sea spiders. That one was, what, 10 centimeters? 20? 20. 20. Yeah. Wow. So probably face size, I think. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh. Good. Oh, that would be great. <laughs> wow. Thanks for the scale. Yikes. <laughs> like, banana for scale? <laughs> face for scale? <laughs> Looks like a really large crinoid right there. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, that slime star is eyeing it up. <laughs> <laughs> I think some of the strangest stuff I've seen is the, ah, gosh, what's it called? The blue cilia? I was just thinking that. Blue when you, when you cilia. pause and yeah. side, I was like, oh, the cilia mats. I forgot about <laughs> the blue, yeah. blue, blue cilia. It looks like purple it blue looks like shag this carpet. Blue, yeah, exactly. <laughs> shag carpet that's like waving in the current. It, what? And uh, blue is just a strange color to see down here. You know? yeah. Oh, wow. We saw it in the Gulf of California. Was yeah. that Pescader Guaymas Basin? I think it was Guaymas on yeah. some extinct hydrothermal vents. Yeah, that was incredible. Can we zoom, please? Yeah, the highlights on Nautilus Live of that site are oh, incredible. Yeah. Just kidding. What? If you look for, if you search on the Nautilus Live website for ciliate maps, oh my gosh. I think you'll find Cilia it. Ciliate maps on Nautilus. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank you. Ciliate. Yeah. Ciliate. Looks like another umbrella pathies. Oh, yeah. oh, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think so. name. Mm. This one's looking a little different. Yeah, it looks like it is missing one of its three branches. What's in the background there? Under the rock. Oh. Yeah, what is that? Tube worm? Maybe. Oh, oh. yep. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon us? It sure was. And then we do um, have viewers wondering about our ROV. So our students interns, the primary maintenance team for the ROVs. I work in the semiconductor industry. Um, always wondered if going back to school would likely be a potential move to the ROV industry. So yeah, our ROV pilots, what does it take to become a pilot within the ROV industry? Yeah. Certifications, trainings? <laughs> so generally, uh, they hire uh, people with electronics or mechanical hydraulic skills. Right. Those are kind of like key. Go on. Even uh, software <laughs> engineers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Software, yeah. 
any potential schools? Well, or there's certifications. You know, I would look at a, there's something called the MATE program, MATE program. where uh, students can get internship opportunities with different uh, ROV operators. Oh, okay. And it, MATE stands for something, but I can't remember what it is. Marine out. Applied Something Technology. Right, right. Something like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They, they, they're associated with community colleges, aren't they? Those yeah. are primarily? Those are them. Not necessarily. No? Uh, marine Advanced Technology mm -hmm. Education. There we go. That. Uh, there's a few commercially operated uh, schools that are specifically target the uh, subsea industry or the ROV pilots in, uh, right. in Spain and in the UK. Hellasaur. Uh, it's it's mostly for people going in the oil and gas. Vertical yeah. Hellasaur. Oh. Yeah, so I'd say the background for folks on, on Nautilus who are ROV pilots, you know, some are coming from, as Robert said, electric, electrical engineering or mechanical engineering academic programs. Some are coming from um, having lots of experience, you know, offshore in, in oil and gas or other industry ROV work. Um, and then a strange and some, number of Canadians. <laughs> a lot of Canadians. <laughs> um, and then, you know, some of the ROV pilots... Um, on Nautilus have come through our ROV internship program. So um, Nautilus has five internship tracks in ROV engineering, video engineering, navigation, seafloor mapping, ocean science, um, and then also a science communication fellowship program for educators. Right. Um, so we often have interns come out and then they will, um, you know, maybe come out the next year as a, co as a junior contractor. Um, you know, and maybe end up coming out with us for a few seasons. So we actually have had um, recently at least one uh, pilot come through the ranks as a starting out as an Argus or as an intern, uh, ROV intern, and then piloting Hercules um, was Jessica Sandoval. That's just one of her just one, many <laughs> one of her many <laughs> many accomplishments. accomplishments. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, everyone has a different path. And if you look at the Nautilus Live website, there's um, there's a, the team page, and you can see the folks who are currently on this cruise. But you can also no dive into the different careers that um, are available on Nautilus and see the different types of paths that people take to get to these roles and what the roles really entail. Um, so those those kind of career pages have a lot more information about um, yeah the the different paths you can take and. Um, and then also profiles of some of the folks who who are now in these roles on Nautilus. Thank you, thank you so much. And for our viewers, if you are interested, um, nautiluslive.org, check out our website, our website for more information. Where are we in this ship move? We are nowhere. Uh, the ship has stopped. We are getting Hercules back in front of Atalanta. Okay. And yep. then we'll make a move. It might be Unless a you want to collect uh, yeah, something. Yeah, I think it might be a time to get a rock. Wow, okay. Wow. I've waited. <laughs> I've restrained oh, myself. Oh, right for until half 30, an hour. Before 34 <laughs> minutes before the watch ends. <laughs> Every hmm. time. <laughs> Every time. <laughs> So that was my last ship move. <laughs> I really enjoyed that last one. Anything uh, tickling your fancy here? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, nothing too flat. Nothing too whaley. Nothing too whaley. <laughs> uh, let's see. You know, just plop yourself down. We'll find something. Did you give up on uh, trying to grab ledge material? Yeah. All right. Well, circle of rock, any rock there. Okay. Uh, there we go.
looks like a little anthemastus. Yeah. Teeny tiny. Yeah, I'm going to change my mind to this one down here. What? Is that too big? Looks attached. No? I don't know. Oh. Only one way to find out. Oh, is that this <laughs> right here? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I think some of these look snaggable. <laughs> Where is this going? Probably side. Depending on how big it is, I guess. Is there still a uh, larger compartment open? Yeah, I'll, everything on the side baskets open. Oh, really? Oh, right. I think I'm having visions of last night or whenever the last time we had <laughs> full drawers. over here are those anyone interested in coming with us nope no hmm no jeez nope no one's interested in coming with us. <laughs> pretty, pretty beefy rocks here. What about the one that that I pointed at first? That's up a little bit. Here, you poked that one. The long one? No, before no. I picked the long one, there was uh. one at the base of the big rock. It's just a little uphill from us. Which one? You can't see it. You got to pan up a little bit. Up from there? Yeah. Seems pretty solid. Yeah. <laughs> nope. All right, well. Huh. Oh. oh. That was just the crust off the outside. Yeah. Oh. Oh, if you could pre-chip the crust off. <laughs> <laughs> that one nope. moved. Ah, I thought that one moved a little bit. New spot? New spot. Looks pretty in place all around here. Yeah. All right, let's look for a new spot. New spot, I. Right. <laughs> I was going to put that there for you. <laughs> <laughs> An arm attendant. <laughs> <laughs> you know, some, yeah, some ROVs, they have one person piloting and another person manipulating. Yeah. How do you we feel do about that? that? Here, you do? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. TJ hasn't had much chance to 
do that. Oh. And he's abandoning us for the deck, so. <laughs> yeah. There, Grand. It's hard to hard to get time during the dive to do it. It, does, it doesn't strike me as very manipulative either. No. <laughs> We've plenty of opportunities. Oh, well, on the subject, so uh, our viewers are curious, what are those red, blue, and green color stripes on the side of the digging arm? Mm. That's for That's Dave. A Dave, yeah. Oh, let's go, lead video engineer. Uh, it's just a quick color reference. Uh, in the old days of digital video, there used to be uh -huh. <coughs> some pieces of gear that would uh, flip channels, the glitch, something like that, and uh, so it just became kind of a, a thing to put red, green, and blue on so that you could tell if the uh, video was correct or not. I'm going to uh, come up and look around here. It's kind of a holdover. We don't really uh, use those for anything other than just uh, basic color reference. I believe it oh. makes the ROV go faster. Could. <laughs> go faster <stripes. laughs> Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. <laughs> well, what are we doing? Let's just move again. Move Another in. move. We got. <laughs> Give we'll Samantha do a one more move. <laughs> Make Samantha happy. Yes, <laughs> very happy. Okay, we'll do a 30, 30 meter step. Uh, bridge nav. We'll leave it to Hannaford to pick up a rock. Three zero meters, one one five. We can stop at any point on this move, so. Yeah, I'm not feeling very optimistic about no. getting anything loose But if here. you do at any point, feel optimistic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, chat, we are nowhere near New Zealand. I'd like to be near New Zealand. Yeah? Nice. Yeah. Not, has Nautilus uh, visited New Zealand before? We have not. Oh. The farthest west we've been is Samoa, actually. Oh, wow. Yeah. I think. Uh, Maybe look at a map. soon, though. Look at all these rocks. I, there's they all there's look a lot. Stuck. Oh, they look stuck. Yeah. yeah. How about that? Hmm. Oh no, I don't want that. That's just a thin piece of crust. <laughs> with a shadow underneath. Okay, the furthest west we've been was actually Nicomoro Island, but the oh. furthest south, uh, the, fr the closest we've been to New Zealand was Samoa. Ah, okay. Has Nautilus visited the Marianas? We have not. Ah, okay. That That's one of the questions from. But I think we'll we can't go that deep anyway. Yeah. Right. Yeah, next year we'll be going um, back out to Samoa, right. potentially Palau. Potentially Palau, potentially Marshall Islands. Yeah, there's definitely headed west next year. It's exciting. It sure is. Okay, what do we think? Not seen anything yet. Oh, there's a. Do you see a ferret hit sponge? No time to zoom. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Not a, nope. No zoom. I mean, there's totally time to zoom. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We can focus on the rock. You don't want any cores, do you? Not here. No. We'll we'll see in eight hours. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, when does when does TJ swap out? Oh, is, is this his last watch with us? No, I'm uh, I'm swapping out on the thirty first. Oh, good. Okay. All right. Time. Actually, our watch tomorrow morning will likely be his last. Huh? Yeah. The I mean. last one. Oh yeah. Last uh, well, I was also going to say. Blue, mostly blue water. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Tomorrow? Oh. Yeah. You okay. looking at these guys here? 
Maybe. I was looking at that one. From the still yeah. cam, they look, it. they look pretty Bridge not nav. stuck. Okay. Hold position. Oh, yeah. oh, oh let's nice. go. Let's go. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice, perfect shape. Great. Right. I have the yeah. picture I need. Thank like you. Pyramid shape sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Like a candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to starboard. Candy over. corn. Starboard, yeah. If oh. we can. Is there any particular like reason so why the example. shape is good? Uh, because. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> is that how the hydraulics work? Were you just what? firing them up? <laughs> uh, <star>. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fight two. each other. Two of us are doing the <laughs> What's going on over there? Two of us doing the same job. <laughs> All right, you ready? All right. Sample this should be out. sample 088. That shape. Uh, is reminiscent of how pillows break apart. Oh, cool. Uh, is it fitting a small? Are they all open? They're all open. So maybe uh, the I'll furthest be one. Gracious, and put it in the back. There you go. Wow. Hopefully it fits. Maybe. Hey. Yay. Yay. Let's go. Sample train. Algo más? Algo más. That was a question. <laughs> what? Algo más? Um, algo más. Something algo more. más. Something algo more. más. No más. Estamos bien. Bueno. Pues, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahora? Arriba. Arriba. <laughs> Arriba. <laughs> Por arriba en el bajo. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Great. Get one little more move in while we wait for uh, the next watch. Were we able to collect an octopi egg last time? I believe so. Oh. Yeah, different watch. Oh. Did anybody follow? Did, did you guys, um, were you guys able to process that in the wet lab? Yes, actually. How did it go? I think Sarah is going on the next watch. Oh. She got a really close up look at it. She was really um impressed because <laughs> at some point it looked like it had two eyes looking at her what? <laughs> so she what? can definitely tell you her experience in next watch but it was really funny what is this we got an the octopus egg yeah a very small octopus egg case oh science do we just want to do one more small move here yeah go for it yeah Roger. possibly Roger. a dumbo octopus i think oh That's what? what they said but it there's no octopus in it. Let's do a two zero meters. A Sarah saw two five. eyes. Uh, I have no more information. And it was it was attached to something, right? So yes. it was like a coral, perhaps that was collected, and this was just on it. Yeah, it actually had gotcha. like three okay. egg cases, potential egg cases, oh, and one of I them see. was identified as a dumbo octopus. Case. What? Wow. Yes. Don't the octopi Very generally stay with the egg cases? So. Not all of them. Not all of them. I hope you see another dumb octopus. Right. Up we go. Okay, team. So over four hours today, we moved 500 meters. 
<laughs> Whoa. 500? Oh. Yeah, that's even bad for our pace. Usually we're at 200 meters really? an hour. Yeah. Oh. It's okay. We, you know, it's, it's the it's the journey, not the destination. Yeah, Wait, that's did, true. Did we start... Oh, we just got on bottom when we came on watch. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we had to do the black balance and the white balance. That takes a lot of time. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. Yeah, lay this <laughs> off on me. <laughs> Wait, this Ooh, looks really babe. cool. Can we look at nice. that? I'm sure nothing dangerous lives in here. <laughs> you can go in first, That's Adam. Cool. Yeah. Uh, we have seen a lot of really weird things on this watch that yeah, were worth that's our true. attention. I think. Oh, Wait, it's Samantha. Not, it's not the, not oh, yes. deep what was cave. our rate oh. our, of meters? Per uh, hour? 120, 125. <laughs> yeah. 125 per hour? Maybe a cup. Wow. Or could be an anemone. Looks like an anemone. Mm -hmm. If I lived down here, I'd set up shop in this little yeah. spot. Yeah, me too. It looks like cozy. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm satisfied. I might scrape some of that stuff off the, the inside. The slimy yeah. stuff. Light dusting. You know, I've just been wondering this whole watch. What do you call this knobby, huh. rocky formation I here? I don't know. We could come up oh, with something. Oh, what the? If I, the if the, the It just reminds me of Latin, bunches of grapes. <laughs> yeah. Let me go to my Latin <laughs> database. Uh, well, there's of course Butrius. Yeah, I. Yeah, I, I feel like also someone else said the. A really Butrius. good word. Yeah. But Butry, it's something but else too. Need it, yeah, yeah, it needs a more of a an, an oidal a, feel. It needs to it. a reoidal. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the end of the watch. Yes, it is. <laughs> I think the whalebone fossil possibly compensates for our slow speed. Uh, I True. think so too. Actually, we yeah. did take a while there. It was worth it though. Yes, yeah. definitely. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, did, you kind of faded there at the end, huh? Yeah, I got a little quiet. Not cracking as many jokes <laughs> this time. <laughs> Okay, well, I'm very surprised. I thought we'd stop at some point, so I'll put in another move. Okay. <laughs> we're done with that one. Oh, look, a coral. Yay. Oh, do you want to zoom on it? Yeah, I want to zoom okay, on it. Okay, great. Thanks. Great choice. I have two things there. I think it could be a paragorgia covered in zoanthids, or it could be a flexorid. How do you identify the difference? Um, there. <sighs> I think that's... Sorry, can we zoom more? I think that's a plexord. I do too. Um, sometimes from a distance, I think that um, a paragorgia covered in zoanthid is like Swiftia, because Swiftia usually has like a pinkish skeleton and yellowish polyps. Um, but then usually if you get closer, um, you can tell that they're zoanthids because they're not evenly spaced and the branching is different and the... The Paragorgia, sclerites, and polyps are different. That's very interesting. Yeah. Cool. All right, I think we got Thank it. Thank you. So that ship move is done. You want to just look around here a little bit? No, let's do another ship move. I mean, we they got a we got a ways to go. So we have <laughs> three minutes. Three minutes. They start showing up. Three minutes. <laughs> yeah, but. Ah. <laughs> uh, we have 13 minutes. Well, they always show up early. Dodge. Mm, okay. Seven minutes at Bridge most. Now. Seven <laughs> minutes. <laughs> Listen, we got our average at stake here. We, we Samantha <laughs> not wanting to do a ship <laughs> move. What is this? <laughs> Two zero meters. One Are you five, okay? Please. Someone take your temperature. Things have changed. <laughs> I put my all into that last move. I thought, <laughs> I thought I <laughs> that's all she had. 
No, I'm actually doing a 4 a.m. interaction, so I'm Oof. debating. Oh, if yeah, I'm wow. To, uh, that is so yeah. brave of you. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I was requested. Oh. oh. That's horrible. Yeah. It's <laughs> 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 the. Uh, so sorry. So I'm, I'm powering down. Ship yeah. Move, so Ship Move Association of America. <laughs> She's a keynote speaker at this year's uh, award yeah. ceremony. Those people involved in direction are listening to no one. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh. Just for the SPL, ship to shore interactions yeah. are great. They're not horrible. They're Just amazing. <laughs> they're oh amazing no, they're so the much fun. We love them, but sometimes they are at four in the morning. <laughs> yeah, the time, is the, the time is just not the best. Yeah, timing. sometimes a little bit brutal. <laughs> one at two forty-five a.m. Oof. Oh Oof. no. Yeah. Tomorrow? Oh. No, like before, we have had like multiple times two forty-five oh, yeah. a.m. Oh. Yeah. I don't drop. know how Katie does all of these. Yeah, I'm got to stay she up. She has so much energy. <laughs> right? Or even you when she doesn't have energy, like she brings yeah. the energy. That's you know, impressive. she like manages to channel it somehow. Adam, what was the association you mentioned? The ship ship, ship move moves association of America. S M A A. Sma. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. <laughs> oh my God, can you repeat the, the name? Unfortunately, <laughs> no. Yeah. But I'm sure they'll, uh, they'll, they'll be an honorary First rule of the association. for Samantha just yeah. <laughs> to compensate her for the 4 a.m. part. It's actually snacks. Snacks. <laughs> <laughs> if anybody her, is wanting her more. Uh, has a, she has to have a big bowl of Li Hing lychee gummies. <laughs> Li Hing lychee gummies. Sour lychee. Sour white tea. There's more um, gummy worms, sour worms in the back. Too many of those already. <laughs> yeah, I could have gone without those. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta I eat all of them. You're supposed to eat one every time you got a sample. Yeah. Well, sometimes you anticipate samples, you know? Yeah. The good pilot anticipates <laughs> their samples. Right, you do the gummy worms first. You have to, yeah, be ready for future samples. Should have left them for Hannaford. Well, it's not as if the gummy worms are sacrosanct. Whoa! Oh. 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 Way over. to come back. Time to go. <laughs> Way to come back. There's even oh. a, a Cinderella. Oh, nice. actually, it's going to be bamboo. There's one behind it, too. It's too hasty. Very happy coral. Yeah, lots of brittle stars, too. I think that's Norella. That is Norella. Thank you. And a uh, Puxorid. Yeah. You need to zoom on that one, or you got it? Got it. Yeah, we got it. Thank you. Jules, can you pass me maybe one? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Down to answer one more scientific question. Uh, shoot. Okay. What is the biological classification of marine sponges, and how do they differ from plants? They're usually confused with plants. It's from our, our from chat. So sponges are peripherans. Uh, we mainly see hexactinellids, which are glass sponges. They're called glass sponges because they're made of silica primarily. Um, we see a lot of euplectelids, a lot of phoreids. Um Yeah, there's stocked and unstocked sponges. Um, how do they differ from plants? They're usually confused with plants. Um, yeah, so 
They negative. They're very simple organisms. Let's reset um, the DVL while we're here. It's thought that they may even be like one of the very earliest organisms. Oh. Um, so, a second, sorry. They're, unlike plants, they're not photosynthetic. Right. Um, and they have different types of cells. Um, Do you want to be mid-move when they arrive? Or you want to look around here? What else? Mid-move. OK. Bridge. Huh? Yeah, sometimes they do look a little bit planty. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's do another two zero meters on one What else can five. I say about them? <laughs> uh, yeah. Give us yeah. our updated uh, total length. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's, great. that's a great explanation. Yeah. I'm that's surprised they're usually kick. confused with plants, you know what I mean? Hmm. Like marines. Oh, oh, well, deep sea marines. Yeah, but right. they could be. Okay. Yeah, I can see that. Um, yeah. <laughs> Apologies for that sort of rambling answer. Um, trying to cover all my bases here. You're good. You're good. Okay, by the end of this move, we will have gone 565 meters in four hours. Nice. Which is, stand by, math happening, 141 meters an hour, <laughs> which is so <still laughs> below our average. Well, you round up to the nearest next 100. <laughs> oh exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now it's also five minutes till midnight, which means Happy, happy birthday, 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 birthday Bella. Bella. Almost. Feliz cumpleaños. Oh, gracias. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Everybody coming in with their snacks. Oh. <laughs> Everybody coming in with their snacks. <laughs> For everyone tuning in, um, we are now on Watch Change. If you are just tuning in, head on over to nautiluslive.org for our highlights. We will be posting more amazing highlights in the week to come. So stay tuned. Ace of 12, signing up. Those are really weird. Do you talk with the sea spider?
I see what samples we have so far when you get a chance. Yes. Um, we have a whalebone fossil yep. again. Yep, cool. Yep. Um, a dead coral with associates, yeah, a sponge, sponge a rock, rock and a sponge. clipping. That's about it. Did they say what two sponges those came from? Uh, yes, let's see if we can have a quick look. Let's at see. That. Oh, yeah. See if there's anything in the description. Um, just looking ahead to the future, there's this dip down after two. We'll see. We'll see how it's how it goes as we approach. Uh, but we could potentially skip the dip and fly through the blue to the next whatever same elevation along the wall or bottom bottom of the next slope. If uh, that's a thing that you'd be comfortable with, Michael. Oh yeah, that's fine for us. Okay. No problem. But we, yeah can decide as we get closer. Um, I don't think they really said where the sponge came okay, from. Let's see if we can find pictures. Good morning, everyone, though. This is Sarah. Did our shift change or watch change? Yep, and this is Daniel. I am your SPL host on this watch. Uh, come up a I'm little on Atlanta. I'm Leela, watch lead, science manager. I am Loopy, a data logger. Woo! <laughs> I know we are, and we are. Uh, we just woke up from our naps. Yeah. <laughs> so give us a second to spin up. Oh. Oh, okay. All right. So there's two clippings. Yeah. What were the two sample numbers of the sponges? Would you mind? Uh, um. Well, it's. They wrote it as the same sample, but it's 86. It just. I think. The oh, it's all from one sample. They just tried two different ways or something? Yes. The uh, first attempt was the slurp, and it, I Got guess it. it didn't show at first. It, okay. All right. So it's that one. All right. I yeah. actually saw that one. I know which one that is. So that's yes. all good. If everybody's ready, we yeah. can get the ship started towards waypoint two. Uh, yep. That sounds good. Hey, Mike, I have to make a camera adjustment. So It'll be about uh, 150 degrees. Be a little bright for a second. Roger. Oh, or opposite. Okay, there we go. All good. Excuse me. So they've been seeing a lot of interesting stuff. Like they've been yeah. zooming on small things and those small things have continuously have been kind of weird. Yeah. Um, I saw that there was some coral livery happening on a, well on a coral obviously by a slime star. One of those big puffy stars. Was it a coral or was it a crinoid? I, did they just I say, couldn't tell, but. I think they just said crinoid. I feel like I saw that there was, maybe it was just it's like, two feet, but I feel like I saw there was some like little wigglies on the end, so. Interesting, okay. Okay, but regardless, there was some. Something. Some <laughs> sort of predation by Slime Star. Yeah. We got potential whale bone. And so now every black spot I see, I'm like, it could be a whale bone. <laughs> <laughs> every <laughs> little oh, like dark the spot is still all messed up. Every black line, that's just 
sticks out what in the ocean floor. Oh, like, yeah, I was going to hold on. I feel like you're Essie good. and all Sorry, these whale bones should, this. like, yeah, we should just see a whale it's shark by now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, careful, careful. <laughs> hold on. It's, it's not going to work. It's, it's like really, really slow. Finding. You can only do, like, one thing, and then oh. got to wait, like, 20 minutes, and then it maybe okay. takes. <laughs> So manifesting. let's just oh, leave well it for a second. Ooh, I tried to put still cam up there because we still have to manually control it. Yeah, yeah, there. got it. Oh, crinoids. these pretty red crinoids. Oh, We've that? seen these in the past, but I think this is the have first dive this time. Yeah. What kind of uh, crinoid is this? Do we know? Um, let's find out. So it's stalked. Yep. Very radial. Oh, I can't spill. Almost looks like the ones we've seen before, but those are like yellow and black. This one's just like this yeah. Nice yeah. Okay, so this one is likely from the family Proisocrinidae. Proisocrinid, <laughs> something like that. Um, yeah, it looks pretty similar. I would say. I'll put that in the chat for you, Loopy. I think we're good on the Zoom. Thank you. Okay. What? Yeah, I'm looking at this. The pro is a crinid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some that have all that many arms. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Yep, Pretty. That's absolutely, absolutely beautiful specimen. Yeah. And the, uh, the tendrils almost look like they're inverted from other chronos we see. Yeah, you s sometimes they're like kind of sticking out more, like more, um, this one was more, what is it? You, sometimes they're more concave, I guess. Oh, we changed the camera. Yeah, yes, our V changed the camera. Hooray. We owe them a great deal of gratitude Thanks, for camera ROV changing. Team. Um, so the settings that it's on Looks now. fine. Yeah, I wouldn't, Keep that. You can keep that around 14 or 16. Okay. And you can mess with the ISO a little. It can go fairly high, okay. although we haven't really needed it. Unfortunately, we still are needing to do it manually. We've not figured that out. Cool. Scroll that screen a little bit. <coughs> and yeah, again, you know, just when there's cool stuff, we don't need to go yeah. crazy. Nice. Getting those high resolution pictures now, <laughs> hopefully. Mm, Upgrade and fancy. <laughs> right? It's so funny. I'm a photographer for one of the clubs I'm in at school, oh, and nice. I have no camera. I just yeah. picked yeah. it from my phone. I don't know what that is. <laughs> that Are you looking at something else? Nothing. That's how I started out oh, in yeah. photography. Honestly, you can learn so much from using your phone. If you just go into pro settings, it's pretty much the same as that of like any other digital camera. And it's yeah. a good way to really get a feel of the settings for when you actually go for the big leagues, so you have an idea of what you're doing. Right. Hmm. I'm thinking about yes. buying a camera just to save storage on my phone. But <laughs> and, I, and I, you know, encourage you also just like so much of it is just learning composition. So yeah, mm -hmm. it definitely is. Totally. And being out here on Nautilus is a good way to practice that. So yeah. I like to take a pictures of the uh oh, the all slooped up. And it's closed. Oh wow. So closed some of these are really closed. Did not know that. Yeah. They can yeah, they can still move their um arms freely. They just don't swim around. <laughs> but yeah, so the mass on the front of the ship is a great thing I like to take pictures of. It's nice and geometric, really frames up the horizon. And sometimes you catch a booby landing on there or flying around. And it's always a great way to learn how to set up shots, such as like rule of thirds, um, like putting different shapes in different ways. Mm -hmm. Say you have like a mountain in the background, but you also have a tree that also kind of looks like it's sloping down that mountain. Just uh, finding shapes that look pleasing to the eye. Yeah. Hey, Daniel, can you move your mic a little closer to your mouth? Yeah, sure. Does this sound better? That's yeah, better. Thank you. And we're seeing a lot of rock. 
lot of rock right now. Yeah, with these, yeah, these interesting little divots in them. It's a kind of cool slope. Mm -hmm. I had to remind myself that it is a slope and it's not just a camera being told. I yeah. know, yeah, yeah, we're not just <laughs> sideways. It's really this cool. Is slope. What oh, could be a zoom? Yeah, on. Oh, or, you're oh that's a oh, Sorry, this one, this one. Real small. Yeah. <laughs> that nice you're going to have both. <laughs> no, pick we need one, to battle. Pick one, anyone. Fight. The best way is rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was thinking fight to the death, but you know. Yeah, I, I mean, we, I guess we're going to do rock, paper, scissors okay. too. <laughs> hey, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and zoom. Hmm. Maybe a white paragorgia? I don't know. Mm, um, it doesn't look like morphologically like paragorgia. No, actually. Is it a weird... I was just judging by the portal. Hmm. Perhaps. Like a little so more. Yeah, those polyps look. Yeah, like it's not. Yeah. The color is weird and throws off. Yeah. But I feel like when you don't know what something is and the colors turn off and it's not, not bamboo, not primitive, not. Mm -hmm. It. I think it is a. Yeah. Right. We change. Right. Plexord is paramorphic. No. Right. Yes. Okay. That's my best guess. I'll put it in the chat. The yeah, I think take uh, some zoom pics. Yeah. Oh, and there's a little shrimpy. Oh yeah, all the stuff when you zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Thank you. Yep. Okay, so where did where did Acanthagorgia go? Did that change or no? I have think we just it, not seen them? I, uh, we have just not seen them. Okay. That's what I thought. Hmm. But I think it did also change level taxonomically or something. Ah, everything changes all the time. <laughs> but that's okay. That means no, we're we need learning. to update. The guides need updating. Yeah, that too. Maybe something like this, perhaps? Like I was looking at, I don't know, like this. Uh, mm, yeah. But just not quite as yellow, but like polyp and structurally looked very similar, same associate. Yeah, I have like a, hold on. 